How's it going guys? David Justin Woodbury here with wildandfree.life. Uh, just going to show you our solar setup for our RV here. It's a 32 foot fifth wheel. I just want to show you a really hassle free solar system that I've come up with that is portable and easy to disconnect and turn on um, and not a lot of uh, customizing to your RV. So we're going to dive right into this. This is my setup right here. And this is the Energy Kodiak. Uh, and what this is, is a lithium battery built into it. It's got 1.1 kilowatt hours. Uh, we have an RV plug here. We have six normal outlets, two uh, 12 volt sockets, um, looks like four USBs, and then a couple 12 volt plugs for lighting. Um, but what I've done is I've actually purchased um, this RV plug and this plug actually runs all the way back to our AC hookup. I'm just going to open this real quick. So this plug, this is the plug right here that goes back to the Kodiak over there. And what I can do is when we're not plugged into shore power, I can coil our AC line up all inside of here and just plug it directly in here and that gives us instant power to the RV. Uh, really quick and easy setup doing that. Um, and what I've done is, these are the solar panel cables. These are MC4 connectors. Um, and these come from the roof. I just mounted a channel on the outside here that goes up to the roof. I uh, got 600 watts of panels up there that I'll show you in a minute. And then uh, with the Kodiak, you have to purchase this MC4 to Nutric plug. Um, so you can see, let me just unplug it real quick. So this just pulls out. That's what the Nutric plug looks like. So I have this adapter right here that goes to MC4s. Um, and that's really easy to plug in. There's just a port on the side of the Kodiak. So when I plug it back in, it just goes in and then clicks. And then you can see it's uh, being maintained by the solar panels now. Uh, we're not using it right now at the moment. Um, it's turned off, um, so it's just staying fully charged because we're actually connected to shore power right now. Um, but what we can do to turn it on is just push this button, and then it gives you a cool little readout right here of how many watts you're using. So when the camper's plugged in uh, and everything's running, you can actually see how much you're drawing right here. And then you have some indicator lights as well here uh, that tell you how, how fully charged your battery is. And like I said, this is a lithium battery built into this unit. And uh, this is really nice because it's also portable. So this system that I have here, um, I can connect it very easily. Or if I want to take it camping for the weekend, and I don't, we're not going to have our RV, I can actually just disconnect it. Grab it by the handle and it's portable just like that. Um, so now I got power wherever I'm going and then I can easily incorporate it back into the RV again. The only thing we cannot run on the RV on this fifth wheel is the air conditioner. Uh, working on a solution for that but um, this is a really good unit. This will last us all day without um, really being mindful of power usage. Uh, we usually run about 400 watts when everything is on that we're using, including the refrigerator, um, TV, some lights, and then charging some devices inside the, the unit, maybe some fans going. Um, but this is just how simple it really is. Um, so when I come back, I can just sit it back inside here. Plug it back in, hook the solar back up to it, and we're ready to go again. Um, so let me run around the back and show you the solar panel system that we have set up. So you can see over there, that is 600 watts of solar panels. And I'll leave a link to all this stuff in the description down below. Um, 
just a really quick video on our hassle-free solar system. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment uh, down below. Make sure to subscribe and like this video, and we'll see you in the next one. I could stay like this forever following you. Just don't get too far and I'll be right